yo, what's up you guys? It's Chris and I'm back with another video. And today I will be doing the mo the long awaited and most anticipated video. I am gonna be doing my Mrs. Rep collection video. For those of you who don't know, Mrs. Rep is a collective of people who do multiple different things and multiple different talents. And Jaden Smith came out, well Jaden Smith and his group of friends came out with a brand called Misfits Rep, which is Misfits Republic, uh, way back in the day, probably like 2012-ish. So I have been collecting since 2014, and I'm gonna show you all my all my Misfits Rep stuff in this video. So first off, um, I was a huge fan of their joggers back in the day, and I did acquire a pair of their second, their second release of Mr. Sharp Joggers, which has that logo on the back pocket. And these ones were, it has like, also has the Mr. Sharp tag. Let me see if I can, bam. It has the Mr. Sharp tag on the right leg. And these ones were super drop crotch. As you guys can tell, they had the little metal aglet thingies on the drawstrings. Um, their pockets were on the front, if you guys can see that. The pockets were on the front and they were going down instead of going like how a normal pocket would go. And yeah, and then they had the, you know, the cuff at the bottom. These, I wore these so much back in the day. I don't want to wear them as much because I don't want them to get, you know, like ruined and tattered and uh, ripped and stuff like that so I have been you know I haven't been wearing these as much as I used to back in the day and then I also have the third pair of joggers they came out with with this Mrs. Rep logo on the back pocket and when you open these ones bam these ones are a little bit tighter so I don't wear these that much I should have gone with the medium instead of a small um, these just have normal drawstrings, uh, with like the little shoelace endings. It has a kangaroo pouch for a front pocket. Pretty sure you guys can see that. But then it also has on the left leg, it has a normal pocket. Bam, bam, you see that. And then on the calf, both of the calves, it has a fully functional zipper, which was new and, um... That's why I decided to cop it and also to add on to my Mistress Rep Jogger collection. As you could say, they they did come out with a red pair of these, which I'm still looking for. And I hope he drops that blue pair that he was wearing uh, in pictures a couple years ago as well. But like I said, I had those first pair of joggers since about 2014. Um, that's basically, you know, now it's four years. I also got this tee back in the day, which was, I think it was called the cross T, the crossword puzzle T or something like that. And then obviously the entire thing is crossword. Um, you know, it looks like a crossword puzzle. And on the right bottom side, you got that old Mistress Rep tag right there. And if you look closely, you could find certain words in here like um there's like misfits rep in here somewhere bam i don't know if you guys can see it it's right there it says misfits so that was one of the first t-shirts i got from misfits rep back in 2014. i also got this tee um this tee is one of my favorite Mr. Rep t-shirts because i read both of these books Yes, Jane Smith did inspire me to read these books, um, and which I do recommend reading because they are a really good read. This is 451, which is a book. It's called Fahrenheit 451. It's about a firefighter, and I'm not going to spoil the rest of the story, but go read that book. And then this is 1984, which is made by George Orwell. He wrote the book, and it's about how the government you know, it's basically controlling everything, and I'm not gonna say any more about that. Go read that book as well. On the left sleeve, 
you do have a Misfits Rev logo. Bam. Then flip to the back. You got this mural looking thing. It's like a scroll. And it's from the book 1984. And it says, War is peace. Freedom is slavery. Ignorance is strength. With the red lines crossing out ignorance, slavery, and war. So, like I said, this is probably my second favorite Mrs. Red t-shirt I own to date. So for this one, I'm sorry if it's a little wrinkled. I recently washed this and I just hung it up. So like I said, Mr. Sharp is a collective of people and this is not Jaden Smith. It is Teo, which is Mateo, uh, Mateo Aries. And he was on Kicking It, which was on Disney XD a long time ago. This was his song, Uno Dos. And I really love the song, so I bought his merch. And then on the back, you've got Teo, that signature Teo um, logo in white. And yeah, like I said, it's a collective, so you can't just get one person's merch, you gotta get everyone's merch. Then recently, the recent pickups, like you guys saw, I did get this Misfits Rep box logo tee with the Misfits Rep in the box. And then you flip to the back and it's got, bam, that big Mr. Shrub logo. Um, I do love this, but if you guys can see that, it's like, it's cracking a little bit. So I am not trying to wear this t-shirt as much as I used to and I got it because I love this tee and I don't want it to start cracking because I do want to wear this t-shirt for a very long time. And then my last tee is this tee, which is my favorite t-shirt. It has Mistress Rep, it's got the Blue Lightning. Uh, I think this was the Blue Lightning tee. They do have different colors, which I am gonna try to acquire in the future. And then on the back, it's got the Mistress Rep logo, but it's like outlined with lightning. So the lightning bolts create the Mistress Rep logo, which is so cool to me because I love lightning and I love design. And yeah, so that was my t-shirts and joggers. Now we're gonna move on to the hoodies. Starting off with the first hoodie, we've got this short sleeve hoodie from, uh, I think this was back in probably 2015. It's black and it's very elongated with, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's got the side slits right there. And then uh, on the left side, it's got the Mistress Rep tag, bam. And then the main attraction for this hoodie, as you guys can see, it's all black. And then you flip into the hood, you've got the Flower of Life pattern, which if you guys don't know what the Flower of Life is, it is pretty self-explanatory. You could go look it up on Google or something like that, but that's the pattern for the Flower of Life. And that was my first hoodie that I purchased from Mistress Rep. And this was, uh, I purchased this at the same time. So technically those are my first two hoodies. This one is gray bodied with black sleeves and he used to put the thumb holes on the cuff. So there was two versions of this, which I'm gonna try and get the other version as well, where it's all black with white. And I think that one's so sick, so I'm gonna try and get that. Um, it's got a line and then it says Misfits Rep in black. It's got a black hood. This one was extended too, but we kind of like cut it down and sewed it together so it could be actually good fitting. It's got Mr. Shrep in the left corner again. Bam. It's got the side slits again. And then, yeah, so bam. Those are the two first hoodies I got from Mr. Shrep. And we've got two more. Hoodies are my two favorite hoodies. I end up wearing these all the time. This hoodie. I took out the drawstrings, so if you're wondering, that's why there's no drawstrings. This is the Fallen hoodie. It's black with yellow lettering. It says Fallen on the front with Sire. And then on the back, it says Sire. And then it says Coming Soon, which we all know his album came out already. So this was way before that. It says Calabasas 1867 on the back. And this was for his song Fallen, which is a really good song. I definitely recommend going and watching the video because the visuals are awesome and going to listen to the song deeply and understand the meaning behind the fallen and I don't that not 
too many good things. You know, I couldn't say enough good things about the song and the video because they were all... He puts out quality stuff, I'm just saying. And then my last hoodie, which is my most recent hoodie, is the Sire hoodie, which, as you guys can see, bam. Sire was a big thing. Uh, in case you guys don't know, his name is Jaden Christopher Sire Smith. So that's where the Sire came from. It's the pink and blue logo from his new album. It's got um, it's got this little scripture of a picture that he took. If you guys want to know what that says, go back and watch my video where I unbox this hoodie. Um, on the left sleeve, it says Vision in that pink and blue. Then over here on the back of that sleeve, it says the sunset killed him going all the way down. Then on the back, it has Sire in blue, Vision repeating in uh, ingredient pink and blue. Then at the bottom it says a beautiful confusion in yellow with the blue Misfits Rep logo behind that. And again, on the on the right sleeve it says another scripture about Sire. And you guys, if you guys want to know what that says, go back and watch my video where I unboxed this hoodie. Well, that's going to conclude this video. I thank you guys for watching and I appreciate you guys for sitting through this video. This video has been much anticipated and I have been waiting to make this. It's just he kept on coming out with new things and I kept on getting new things. And so I was like, I'm, I gotta collect these things and then I will make a big video of them all together. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. Comment down below what else you guys want to see, what other collection you guys you want to see. Um, if you guys could, please share my video with your friends. Get my name out there. We gotta keep pushing. So, um, and I thank Jaden Smith and the whole Mrs. Red movement for enlightening me and changing my life in a way that it would change myself for the better. So, I thank you guys for watching. And yeah, later.